be here with you today, and, and you know, you're contributing to me simply just by being here. I, you made the investment of time and, and energy and, and money to be here, and you, know, you set yourself up sir, for, for success by uh, contributing your, uh, your attention here today, and I very much appreciate that. We are going to really work over the next uh, few minutes here. I'm going to ask for you to actually really work with me. Um, it's awesome to get together with you today. There's really a, an incredible feeling at this conference, and I'm glad to be a part of it. And what I, really what I want to explore today and discover is something, uh, you know, the other speakers were sort of talking about what we're going to be, well, how we're going to be coming this and we're going to be coming that. And I didn't really bring anything in this presentation that you don't already have. In other words, what I'm looking to do in this presentation is find out if, uh, if we can come up with some commonalities that we all have. So what I'm going to try to do is bring to your attention something that's already uh, inside of you. Um, this rap talk is sort of about, uh, oops, go ahead there. Uh, this rap talk is about shifting the context of your work. So a lot of talk about context, you know, they're setting new paradigms and creating new context for your for your work from kind of a, a technical standpoint, a little bit from the, the strategy standpoint. But what I really want to talk about is the context of uh, doing the best you can do with sort of the circumstances that you got handed. You know, you do that, that's what you do now. You do the best you can do with the circumstances that you got handed to instead creating the outcomes that you want, really regardless of the circumstances. And that's what we really focus on, to be, to be a reliability leader is in human being. Being a reliability leader is about creating a new future that wasn't going to happen anyway. So, you know, my purpose here today is really to sort of jolt you awake, or at minimum, I want to just jolt you aware. Um, but as I said, you're going to have to work today. I only have 18 minutes to change your entire life. So I want to just tell you that your outcomes are going to be totally dependent on your participation over what we're about to talk about. So, you know, I am unable to show you the road to reliability. And I would tell you to beware of anybody who claims they can show you the road to reliability. If the road to reliability was easily shown, just about any... Uh, since John already used French, I'm going to use it again. Just about any a-hole could show you, you know, how to get reliability. You know, so you have to really discover for yourself what it is to be a reliability leader and then take that to your team and let them discover for themselves what it is to be a reliability leader. And remember, our definition for reliability leader is somebody who can create a future that wasn't going to happen anyway. So uptime elements, this system that we work in, isn't really about managing reliability, it's about transforming reliability. Certified reliability leader isn't about becoming something, it's about actually being something. 